Well, it's Christmas morning, 2017. I just completed making this table. Actually, this table base. It's out of mild steel pieces and components. Um, jacked in screw jacks, which I'll get in a little bit more to that. The idea was to create uh, an industrial style table base that's going to support a four inch thick hardwood top that's uh, eight feet long and 42 inches wide. And in this video here you see well, the components, the center portion is not bolted on, but <clears throat> the side, the end components there with the center column with those carriage bolts and the, the side supports are welded together. This top support piece uh, will bolt right onto the bottom of the table and then onto the top of the screw jacks and the crank will allow for an adjustment of plus 14 inches minus 2 inches. And so right now you'll see where the table will be 30 inches tall at the top. <clears throat> anyway, I'll take you through what I did to make this table. Mainly I just have snapshots. So this started out um, looking for a table about six months ago um, and we found one online that we really liked and it was very expensive. So here's a picture of the table. I called and I asked, you know, how much would it cost for this table? And they said, oh, well, it starts at $25,000. <laughs> so I can't afford that. And I looked at it and thought about it and I thought, you know, <clears throat> I can make this and I carefully looked at the dimensions and uh, scaled everything and came up with a design. And I created the design in AutoCAD and um, I use AutoCAD a lot at work and came up with a set of measured drawings what I could make a parts list out of. <clears throat> and so here's what I got. So then I had to figure out, okay, well, screw jacks, that's kind of the integral part of this entire thing. Where am I gonna find these from? I searched the internet and found jacked and screw jacks uh, they're a company out of China, and I use them. They are surprisingly, they were very easy to work with, I, I, very professional. Um, yes, these were expensive and they took a while to get. Uh, I spent over a thousand dollars in the screw jacks alone. They're five ton screw jacks. And I used those primarily because the main screw shaft was 40 millimeters and I needed that to support the 600 pound hardwood top um, that we're gonna have. Bought the metal at AZ Metals here locally in Arizona. These folks are just really wonderful, so if you have any opportunity to work with them, I highly recommend them. Uh, but I just basically gave them a parts list, they gave me quotes, <clears throat> and uh, picked up the parts and started welding and creating. So here is just initially uh, when I got the screw jacks and the 8 inch columns, uh, just wanted to see what is the center uh, spacing that I needed for between column and column. Um, and here I'm creating the center column. I'm drilling out holes to put carriage bolts in just for a decorative feature. And this is like a quarter inch thick. I've welded a quarter inch bottom plate on there. And here you can see the carriage bolts that uh, you know I installed, <clears throat> screwed on. Here I just kind of laid out, you know, this is what it looked like with the with the jacks just stuck on top and with the columns created. Next I started to create the um, column side supports uh, just welding together three sixteen inch thick steel by six inches wide. Um, in the center of the columns I needed to weld on some nuts so that I could uh, you know, screw on the center uh, truss support. I'll get to show that a little bit more. Here I'm showing here's the top of the columns where I just kind of drilled out a hole for the screw shaft to go down in. Here I'm welding the top of the uh, column on that will accept the screw jack. Love the TIG welder. Here's just a, a little video, an overview of where I got so far. So just the side supports and um, showing everything that's uh, you know done to this point with the columns. The side supports are not welded on. Okay, 
So the next thing I did here is I ground the screw jacks, the, the bottoms around to, you know, be flush with the top of the columns. Here I'm creating the, the center truss that goes between the columns. Notice the holes and the ends. Um, this is so that I could bolt this whole thing on. Uh, here's a little bit more detail of just the separate pieces of me tack welding on. Here I'm putting angle iron detail in the center, I mean on the, the side supports. This gives it a little more structural strength. Uh, here's another video of kind of, this is where I was at <clears throat> at this point. You can see the center truss, which is kind of um, sitting there in between the side supports that are just sitting next to the columns with the angle iron. Okay, next up I had to figure out, well, how am I going to bend the metal, you know, on the uh, side supports, and I came up with this jig, which is just basically a couple of steel pipes welded on some flat steel. Then I heated up the metal, 3 sixteenths inch by 6 inch wide pieces in my propane forge, got it good and cherry hot, red, you know, red hot, uh, so that I could bend it. And then here just shows me bending it in the jig. And I was really nervous about doing this, but it ended up coming out great. If you take a look here, I just kind of, you know, created different uh, marks on the steel plate on where to insert the metal to and bend, and I ended up getting all pieces really good. Now here's the center truss where I'm welding on the um, curved pieces now. You can kind of get a sense everything's coming together. And then here's a video of where I got. So the the side support pieces of the you know the center or the end columns are got the nice curved pieces, and then the center truss had the curved pieces as well. Um, everything's together and looking really nice. Um, here's where it started to really feel like okay, it's all coming together, and this is this is looking good. Now here I'm starting to create the top support for the table um, top that's going to bolt onto the screw jacks on the bottom and onto the table on the top. Here I am welding together um, you know, the pieces of that top support, welding everything together. And now here's kind of a, a walkthrough of everything together and done prior to painting. <clears throat> So, got the top support, the center truss with the curved pieces, the column side uh, supports with the curved pieces welded on, everything's there, everything's ground out, ready to go, ready to paint, just kind of a look, oh, this is, this is everything. Now, well, here I am masking off and getting ready to paint, you can see the center support in the back is painted, <laughs> had to paint to mask off each of those carriage bolts. There it is painted. I'd used just a Krylon matte black, ultra flat black um, camo paint. Looks really great. Everything black. It's the top being painted. And that's it. <clears throat> I mean, here it is again, the, the picture. Um, again, the center part isn't um, screwed together. Uh, there will be you know, eight bolts per side. Uh, and It'll be lifted up a little bit and flush with the top of the screw jacks, uh, you know, or the bottom of the screw jacks, I should say, the top of the combs. Um, it comes apart. It's about 500 pounds like this, so it's very heavy. So the ends um, are separate pieces. The center truss is a separate piece. The top is a separate piece, so it makes it manageable. I can even take the screw jacks off. I won't do that, though. I can pick up the end pieces with the screw jacks, but it's very heavy. Anyway, um, this table came out beautifully. I'm very, very pleased with it. Um, and just like anything, uh, you know, I didn't know what I was doing when I started this. Just try it. Um, learned so much. I love the Harbor Freight uh, TIG welder that I got. Um, it was wonderful. Anyway, it was a lot of fun, this project. Um, hope you enjoyed watching.